how do you assess the EU integration process of Albania and what does the EU mean for you from the youth perspective? Mm -hmm. Yes, it has been a long way. In fact, in the 90s, our big dream was European integration. The students back then chanted, we want Europe to become like Europe. And since, since then, many processes have started, many years have passed, but uh, I think we have achieved good results, but we are not where we should have been. And I think it's the responsibility of both political uh, classes here in Albania, but also of the EU. I think what we are lacking right now is motivation. Back then, there was much more enthusiasm mm -hmm. by young people and by also common citizens regarding EU accession and EU integration. Now the motivation is lacking because the process is stacking more and more, not only because of internal issues, but also regional problems which are not directly related to Albania. And I also believe that this should change. EU and Albania should work together and find solutions to make people again believe in this dream. Mm -hmm. If you look at, at Croatia's way to the EU and uh, Albania's integration mm -hmm. into the EU, both countries, let's say, started at the end of the 90s when it, when it comes to the EU, started their integration process. Mm -hmm. Croatia entered the EU in 2013. Albania is still in the, let's say, beginnings of the EU integration process yes. as a candidate country. Yes, true. So how do you assess this? What were the differences and why is Albania right now yes. where it is? I think it is, re uh, it is related mostly to political reforms. Croatia took its political reforms more seriously. And also if we see its judicial reform, it was a landmark reform that uh, made a lot of impact in the society back there. While if, you s if we see Albania, we had many political crises. So the stability was not so strong. We had governments and oppositions that always conflicted each other. So the political, uh, let's say, aspect of Albania was a bit toxic. Mm -hmm. And I think that was the main reason why we were stuck behind. Another maybe important aspect is the regional, is the regional aspect. As, as you know, we are surrounded by other countries like North Macedonia, and Kosovo, which also have issues among uh, EU countries and also regional partners. So uh, in that regard, another factor has been the uh, regional instability, which affected us, while Croatia, as you know, have uh, better stability in that regard. Mm -hmm. uh, let me ask you maybe the last question, and this is about the EU. What does the EU mean for you? For you personally, how has the EU affected your life until now? And what do you expect to change in the future? Yes. Are you an optimist or a pessimist when it comes to the EU? I would say that I'm a realist. Mm -hmm. I know that the path toward EU integration will not be easy. It will take years. But I know that it is the only solution for us. So we have only one road. We don't have any other option. We have to focus on EU enlargement. And, and I know that uh, as my generation, we are really pro-European, really optimistic. I truly believe that EU has changed the life of many young people because it has provided them opportunity not only to study abroad, but opportunity to, to meet other peers, to start different careers, to get inspired and also to contribute for a better society here in Albania. The only thing that EU should start to focus more is to bring the enthusiasm back to Western Balkan countries. Mm -hmm. So to promise small steps that are achievable. We, we are not asking directly uh, EU integration because we know we have our own problems. Just we need clear steps that make us positive about the future. Thank you very much for this interview. Thank you.